Uh, you have been linked, you being the Blue Jays, have been linked to uh, a Japanese free agent shortstop at Takashi Toritani. Uh, I know you don't like talking about players you've been linked to, but in this case, we are talking about a veteran Japanese player. Do, hey, I'll ask you this, Alex. Is, is he the type of guy that would fit the Blue Jays this season? Sure. Now, we've been, you know, I think it's some of the stuff is so obvious. We've scouted him quite a bit. We have some scouts that like, like him. And um, he's someone that we've certainly talked about internally. Um, you know, beyond that, I probably wouldn't get into anything else. But, but certainly a guy like that would fit. Uh, you know, we do have an opening from an everyday second base job. And we are, uh, I think we've, we have certainly haven't hidden the fact that uh, we're open to uh, try to bring in some guys either to compete or to give them that job. Because we really don't have someone that we can anoint at this time, the everyday player there. So um, a guy like Tortani is definitely someone that we've talked about, we've scouted. Um, man, I probably can't go any further than that, but uh, there's, there's certainly truth to the fact that uh, we've had talks. Um, Alex, a breaking story today, uh, not, not just in the world of baseball, but in the world in general, that it looks like the U.S. and Cuba are going to take steps towards normalizing towards normalizing relations, you know, opening an embassy. Uh, there's some talk about easing financial uh, restrictions between the two countries. A- as a baseball executive, does that open the possibility even more, do you think, of, of, of Cuban players coming over to the major leagues? And w- would that be a positive for Major League Baseball? Oh, I think there's no doubt if that was to be the case, it would. I mean, some of the best players in the league right now are coming over from Cuba, and it seems like the talent just continues to, to improve. The challenging part is you know, being able to scout some of these players. You have to go see them in international tournaments. Even though as Canadians we're allowed to go over there, um, you still, from a league standpoint, uh, we really can't go to Cuba and scout their players. So it's something that you need. With it. They, they play all over the world, whether it's in, in Holland or whether it's in various countries in Asia. And we'll, we'll try to see uh, as many games as we, we can, but Sometimes some of the top players do not travel for fear of uh, that they might defect. So it is hard to see some of these players and to get an extended look. And anything that can improve that relationship and make things, uh, I guess, easier from a club standpoint to evaluate the players and, and to have more of them come to our league, um, I think it would be great for the game because we're just continuing to add talent. 